Cheribert I French, Cheribert, Latin, Cheribertus, c. 517 December 567 was the Merovingian king of Paris, the second eldest son of Clothar I and his first wife Ingen. His elder brother Gunthar died sometime before their father's death. He shared in the partition of the Frankish kingdom that followed his father's death in 561, receiving the old kingdom of Childebert I, with its capital at Paris. Personal life Cheribert married Ingeberga and they had four children Blythite of Cologne 538 possibly married to Ansbertus, Gallo-Roman senator Crotobertus b. 595 Bertha, who married Aethelbert of Kent Cheribert also had several concubines by Marifleda, a wool carter's daughter, and her sister Markovefa, he had daughters, Bert Flade a nun in Tours and Clotilde a nun in Saint Croix, Poitiers. By Theodogilda or Thudchild, a cowherd's daughter, Cheribert had a son who died in infancy. Cheribert married his daughter Bertha to Aethelbert, the pagan king of Kent. She took Bishop Luterd with her as her private confessor. Her influence in the Kentish court was instrumental in the success of St. Augustine of Canterbury's mission in 597, affecting the conversion to Christianity of the first Anglo-Saxon ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Military campaigns and enthronement In 556, Clothar sent his sons Cheribert and Guntram his youngest, against their stepmother, Chana and younger stepbrother, Cromin, who were in revolt. During ongoing negotiations, Cromin was hiding out on Black Mountain in the limousine. When the negotiations failed, the two armies prepared for battle. However, a thunderstorm prevented any engagement, and Cromin, who was hiding out in Black Mountain, sent forged letters to his brothers, Cheribert and Guntram, in which he falsely reported the death of their father, Clothar. Cheribert and Guntram immediately returned to Burgundy to secure their positions. After the actual death of Clothar in 561, the Frankish kingdom was divided between his sons in a new configuration map, left. Each son ruled a distinct realm which was not necessarily geographically coherent but could contain two unconnected regions. Their kingdoms were named after the city from which they ruled. Cheribert received Neustria the region between the Somme and the Loire, Aquitaine, and Novempopulana with Paris as his capital. His other chief cities were Rouen, Tours, Poitiers, Limoges, Bordeaux, Toulouse, Cahors, and Albi. Guntram received Burgundy. Siegbert received Austrasia including Reims with his capital at Metz, and the youngest brother Chilpuric received a compact kingdom with Soissons as its capital. <laughs> Death and legacy Though Cheribert was eloquent and learned in the law, Gregory of Tours found him one of the most dissolute of the early Merovingians. He maintained four concurrent wives, two of them sisters, and this resulted in his excommunication by Germanus. This was the first ever excommunication of a Merovingian king. As a result, he was buried in disgrace at Blavia Castellum, a stronghold in the Tractatus Armoricani. At his death, his brothers divided his realm between them, agreeing at first to hold Paris in common. His surviving queen out of four, Thudchild, proposed a marriage with Guntram, though a council held at Paris in 557 had outlawed such matches as incestuous. Guntram decided to house her more safely, though unwillingly, in a nunnery at Arles. The main source for Cheribert's life is Gregory of Tours' History of the Franks Book IV, 3, 16, 22, 26 and Ix, 26, and from the English perspective Bede's Ecclesiastic History of the English People. 